Hello chaps, Wolfgore here and welcome back to Fallout 4, one quest at a time. How's your day going? I hope it's good. Well, let's uh, start off this episode by, uh, by making our wonderful little dog companion here, Captain Kirk, happier than he already is. And as you may well know, we have been collecting teddy bears for him. And we have nine new ones. So let's go ahead and drop those. Yay! Look at all the teddy bears. Oh, so many, it's making my, my game lag. Nice. Nice. Wait, that looks like three teddy bears. Are they stacked? Ah. Teddy bears everywhere. Okay, so that's seven teddy bears right there. Well, that's not going to work. I can't take all the credit. There we go. That's more like it. All right. I didn't realize when you dropped uh, big stacks of items, they stacked together. That makes sense, though, for uh, for lag purposes. Anywho, so Captain Kirk's teddy bear collection is getting quite large. What's going on? Not much, Sturgis. How are you? Uh, so what are we doing? Good God. All right, focus. Uh, so we cleared out the Starlit Drive-In in the last episode, and we have yet to actually turn in that quest. So let's go say hi to Preston else. really quick. Nothing in Preston! What's going on, homie? <clears throat> Apparently the castle's been trying to get you on the radio. Some kind of situation over there. Better go see what's going on. All right. Well, that's what I'll be doing this up. This uh I cleared out that spot today. you sent me to. Blah, blah, blah. Set up I can a radio talk. beacon there. That's great news. Once folks have some place to call their own, they'll be willing to help defend it. As usual, I have something else for you to look into. I oh here's my. where they are. I hope you can help them. We've got to show people they can count on the Minutemen again. All right, man. Hi. I've had some bad news. Super mutants raided a settlement. Maybe you can find out where those bastards are coming from and put a stop to it. Jeez. Oh, man. The freaking Minuteman Isn't quests are... Uh. No. No. Uh. No problem. It's like you complete one and you get two more. It's like a freaking Hydra. Literally. Um. Anywho, so what did he just give us? He gave us... The slog green skin, so that's sounds like it's gonna be killing super mutants. Um there's another settlement and okay, let's head over to the castle and see what's going on with them. Because we haven't checked in since we uh since we were there the last time. Alrighty, we have returned to the castle. Is it still just the one guy here? Oh, hello. Yo, yay, new settlers. All right. Hey, you. Start picking. Uh, here we go. Got it. Yeah, get these people some food. They're hungry. Yeah, get over there. Go on. Ain't gonna ask you again. Hey, how's it going? Oh, oh man, that's... Ooh, that's a face only a mother could love. <laughs> ah, there you are. Finally. I've been waiting to talk to you. Okay, here I am. Here I am. What did you need? I'm Ronnie Shaw, Commonwealth Minutemen. At least I was. Back before Joe Becker got himself killed and the idiots took over. Hmm. Glad, Glad to, to meet, meet you. you. We can use some more veterans around here. Ah, well, you're right about that. I feel like some of these you've got still may need their diapers changed. Couldn't agree more. These guys are green as grass. I'd still like to hear what you came to talk to me about. Heard you were trying to get the Minutemen back on their feet. Thought I'd come see the new general for myself. So what's your story? What makes you think anybody even wants the Minutemen back? Um... I don't, I don't know. Preston just kind of... Kind of twisted my arm into this. I'm, I'm more of a brotherhood kind of guy. You know what I'm saying? The Minutemen are the good guys again. People are starting to realize that. I've heard some good things. Wouldn't be here otherwise. Now that I'm here, I can see you really need my help. Heck yeah. Hey, want to be general? I don't, I, don't really, uh, I don't really care about this. I'm not taking it too seriously. We can always use more experienced soldiers. Yeah, you're not kidding. But I had something more specific in mind. I'm probably the only one who still remembers this. But the castle's armory was located in the West Bastion. All of our best equipment was stored in there. Weapons, ammo, schematics, you name it. 
Come on, I'll show you. Great. Free stuff. Fine by me. Ooh, the city looks cool. Thumbnail! Ah, good. Hmm. Looks like it might still be intact. Door still sealed. Bastion hasn't collapsed. Trick now is finding a way in. Um, well, yeah, I knew this was here. Wasn't the point that you knew how to get in? I hope you have an idea. Of course I do. If you can't go through, go around. Let's have a look at the northeast bastion. Okay. After you. Ah, uh, that's a better angle. <laughs> Alright, she's too slow. Hey, Captain Kirk, go get it. Go get it, buddy. Ooh. Okay. Uh, I, I don't think I don't think this is gonna be a viable a viable option unless we have like some explosives or something. What the fuck are you doing? Come on. Would you just change your mind? Uh, <clears throat> just hold your horses. And follow me. What? You were walking the. You don't, you fucking turn around again. Get in there. Better come up with a creative solution if you're gonna waste my goddamn time like this. Go. No. Go. Go. You do your job. I'll do mine. What? This was the general's quarters. Used to be a tunnel leading from here to the armory. Hmm, this tunnel's blocked by this rubble. We'll have yeah, to I can find see that. Clear it. You, you got any ideas? Hmm. Hmm. And what's this now? The workshop? Oh, can I? Come on, General. Come you must have some way to clear this rubble. Shut the fuck up. Don't tell me what to do. You're not my real mom. Sweet, we can just scrap it and get concrete. Awesome. Let's get down there and see if there's still a way through. Yeah, boy, you you really helped there a lot. Thank you. Ooh, the castle tunnels. Right, here we go. And we're gonna have to fight some stuff. Ooh, landmine. Don't mind if I do. Brain a fungi. More uh, land pretty dark down here. We better watch our step. Better shut your mouth. Damn. Hella mines. Okay, that looks blocked. So it must be this way, right? Ooh, what are these? Cannonballs? Huh. <laughs> Bet those are heavy as fuck. Alright, I'm okay without those. Um, more landmines. Jesus. Jeez. Us. Whoa. Ah! <laughs> stab! Stab! Yeah. It's just not the same when the target isn't alive. My stabbing arm's got the itch. I need to stab. Hey, what are you looking at? Where were you for that? Yeah, you better back up, Ronnie Shaw. Else you might get stabbed. <laughs> ah! Fuck. What the hell? Ah! <laughs> you good? <clears throat> I know there was a way through down here. <laughs> oh, did you get blown up a little bit? That sucks. I'm fine. What the hell set it off though? Laser musket, yeah. Okay. 
So this goes around. Yeah. Jesus. Ronnie. <laughs> Ronnie Shaw, what are you doing? Just getting all blown up like a goofball. Psycho, nice. Industrial oil canister. What's that? What's that? What is that? Hmm. Suspicious. Jeez, okay. Fusion cord? Don't mind if I do. Don't mind if I do. Right. Can I get through here? No. So we go this way. Yeah, da, 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 da. Oh. Well, I'll be. Let's do this. Let's go, Sarge. Oh, yeah, buddy. The fuck do you know? Not a goddamn thing. Sarge. Nope, not anymore. Hurry the fuck up. I already got my thumbnail. Whoa. Whoa, what's that? That looks like a gun. Maybe that was for Sarge. Um, anything else down here? Doesn't look like it. Mechanic jumpsuit? Oh. Interesting. Alright, I think we got everything down here. Technical documents. Oh. That explains all the landmines. This is, well, was, General McGann. Oh. Did your job back when I first joined up. Must have gotten trapped down here when that sea beast attacked the castle. Uh, he did manage to keep the armory secure. I'll give him that much. <laughs> Guess the uniform is yours now, if you want it. This old geezer doesn't need it anymore. Rest in peace, General. The fight is done, and the Minutemen live on. Damn. That <laughs> uniform's gonna need to be dry cleaned. Sentimental about something that happened 40 years ago. Come on. All right, did we do it? Are we in the armory? That looks like the big metal door that's blocking it from the front. So if we go, it should open, right? Yes. Yes. Ooh, good. Good. Okay, you can stop helping now. You're really just getting in the way. Captain Kirk really has that position covered of getting in the way. Nice! Fragment mines. Got water. What are these? Stealth boys. Nice. Baseball grenades. Fragment grenades. More fragment grenades. Molotovs. Cryo mine. Got crafting stations in here. Duct tape. Laser musket medium scope. Oh, those are mods. That's cool. Weapons workbench. waiting for us. And artillery the supplies. Of the crop. Schematics for building artillery. Oh. Artillery, you say? Well, that's intriguing. <laughs> Thanks, idiot. It's a month. Got a fat man. Tesla arcs? What are those even? Well, that's cool. Like deactivated turrets? Can't pick them up, though. Got some free laser rifles. And some ammo. Wow, well, that was a good loot room. Laser musket, crank capacity. 
I'd care more if I was willing to use a laser musket, but fuck that, that gun is ridiculous. Alright, so... I have to admit, Ronnie, having artillery would help out quite a bit. Oh, we used to rain down fire on death claws and super mutants alike. It was a glorious thing. Hmm. That's pretty cool. Alright, so we completed gaining access to the armory. Let's look into building some artillery. Alright, so if we come out here, go into the crafting menu. Oh, here we go. New tab, special. Ooh, that's huge. Look. Takes four oil, four screws, six gears, five springs, 16 steel, four concrete, and four wood. All relatively common items. You can make up to six of these. Nice. And it offers six defense, but it does require somebody to man it, which is kind of unfortunate. Only kind of unfortunate. So when I was clearing this place out, I actually uh, noticed these things, but they were all broken. So these little uh, circular foundation areas was where the artillery used to be. But none of them are still intact, so why don't we plop one of these down? How do we want this angled? Ah, ooh. No, I'd like the barrel facing outwards, please. Well, I suppose we can move it once we place it down, because it's just too far off. And then we can go... Ooh. And... Ooh. There we go, I like that. That's pretty fucking cool. Pretty fucking cool, if you ask me. All day, all so the, the only thing we're actually short on is the oil, but... I'm not really having an issue getting oil, I just don't pick it up that much, because I don't really need it. So why don't we go ahead and replace all the artillery, just because I'm OCD like that. And I think it'll look nice. Judge me if you want. <laughs> yup. And then one over there. Okay. And one more to wrap it all up. Hey. Well, isn't that cool? Isn't that cool? You busy? You're on artillery duty now. Have fun. So I'm curious. We have this big-ass recruitment beacon here, but do we need a small, regular recruitment beacon? I don't know. Um, I think I'm going to build one just to be on the safe side. I really don't see any reason not to, and I need more people here, because three is just not cutting it. So that's going to be under... What is it? Power? Nope. Oh, eight. Nope. Put the cord back. Miscellaneous recruitment beacon. There we go. And we should be able to... Take this cable, pop it up there, and run one more cable over here, which also gets that cable out of everybody's face, which is nice. Uh, so hopefully we'll get some more Minutemen from doing that. Let's make sure everybody's assigned. Do you have an assignment? No, you still want to talk. Hey, What's Ronnie. Up? Ah, looks like you've got everything we need. Ah, oh, gosh darn, it's good to see artillery oh, here again. Yeah, now, here's you're the welcome. thing about the big guns. They can't fire at anything too close, but their range is impressive. That's what the smoke grenades are for. Toss one of those at the bad guys. If we have artillery in range, we'll confirm over the radio and target our fire on your smoke. But first, we better do a test fire. Make sure we're hitting what we're aiming at. You see that little building over there? We'll yes. use that for our aiming point. Okay. Keep the radio on and tuned to Radio Freedom so we can confirm we're ready. Alright, so. Let's pull out our Pip-Boy. Radio Freedom. Then we're gonna go down to, I'm guessing it's a weapon? Artillery smoke grenades. Fragment mine. 
Is it the artillery smoke grenades? That makes sense. Yeah, of course. Right. And then right, we should be able to come over here. Boosh. Captain Kirk, get the fuck out of there. Come on. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it now. <laughs> That's cool. Yes, more. More. Destroy them all. Oh, that's fucking cool. <laughs> Come on, take out the building. Oh, Nice. Thank you. Okay. Well, that's cool. I mean, I don't know how how practical it is to actually use in combat, but but it's fucking cool. I like cool things. All right. So what's up next? Uh, where's this quest objective telling us to go? Uh, let's put our raggy mint grenades back on. To our mibbity mibbity map. And we're heading back to Sanctuary, probably to talk to Preston. I'll see you chaps there. Freedom, the voice of the Minutemen. It's oh god. Ugh, turn off Radio Freedom. I can't stand that freaking song. The one goddamn song they play over and over again. Yeah. Hey guys. I've got a hand. What are you all doing standing around? Get back you to work. Really turn things around for the Minutemen. I never thought Except I'd see you, the Preston. day that the You're Minutemen cool. had artillery support again. I mean, Sturgis, we but also Preston. Building them at you two can stand around. To expand our coverage. You two get back to work. <laughs> <laughs> else, you see? You see? Oh, fucking finally! Finally, 1,500 experience when idiot savant procs on a quest completion. Holy crap, I was... I had completely lost faith Take your time. that that was even going to happen, but it did. And oh my gosh, 1,500 experience. That is awesome. I'm sorry, I wasn't even listening to you, buddy. Uh, I like her, pain in the ass. What do you think of her? What do you, what think, do you of think of her? People like her. She comes across pretty hard ass, but she's one of the good ones. I'd heard stories about her from the old timers, but I didn't know she was still around. The fact that she's come back to the Miniman means we must be doing something right. I'll let you know if I hear of any settlements that need our help. In the meantime, make sure to offer help to anyone that needs it. That can only help our cause. Yeah, you got it, boo. All right. If hey. you have a moment, there's something I'd like to discuss with you. No. <sighs> About the Brotherhood? Does it have anything to do with the Brotherhood? I wouldn't necessarily say that. This isn't a formal meeting. I simply want to clear the air. I think we may have gotten off on the wrong foot when we first met, and I feel like I owe you an apology. Expecting you to embrace the standards of the Brotherhood without having a history with us was unfair. And given that you've adjusted so well to our beliefs, I don't think I needed to push so hard. Semper Invicta, brother. That's very kind. Thank you. Well, you deserve it. When I was an initiate, my sponsor was Paladin Krieg, toughest squad leader I ever served with. He was a model soldier embodying the values every trainee was striving to achieve. Fiercely loyal, secure in his beliefs, and brave to a fault. From the moment I was assigned to his squad, I was singled out. It felt like he was pushing me harder than the rest of the team. I fought by his side for years, and we had some seriously close calls. But he never explained to me why I was treated that way. 
Hmm. Sounds like he knew that you were going to be leading your own squad one day. It sounds like he was trying to motivate you. If he was, I never got a chance to ask. Uh -huh. After I was promoted to Paladin, and I'd moved on to my own squad, I received word that Krieg was killed at Adams Air Force Base. The news was like being kicked in the stomach. I mean, I'd lost some of my brothers and sisters before, but his death... Well, it really got to me. It's taken me a long time to realize it. But the reason Krieg was so tough on me is the same reason I'm so tough on you. It's because I believe in you. And I don't want to see any of your potential go to waste. Thank you, brother. I'm flattered that you have so much faith in me. You've earned that faith by your own hand. Well, I've said what I had to say, and I hope that it meant something to you. It did. I trust you'll keep this in confidence, of course. Some of that information was of a personal nature, and, well, I'd like to keep it that way. It was bro talk, dude. I understand. Thank you for saying. You sir, can fix just about welcome anything. Welcome back, sir. Guns, tough gods, people. You were able people. to find some assistance. Just gotta have the right tools. What's going on with you, Sturgis? Just wanted to trade a few things. No, I, I just wanted wait. to talk. All right. All right. I know I'm not the only person here who's lost someone. Ugh. Ugh, just shut up. You're fine. Ugh, get over it. Well, that's a nice backdrop for my outro. Our odd little group of ragtag friends coming together in Sanctuary. And hey, I want to thank you guys so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. If you enjoyed today's episode, hit that like button for me. Or you can leave a comment. It does help the channel grow, and any old comment will do. Or you can subscribe for more of my content. Either way, I will see you chaps here next time with more Fallout 4.